What do you look at next? Changing your uh, speed, you can also use this dial. And what speed is that? Sorry, though. that's uh, 120, uh, 1 over 125 speed. And that's the shutter speed, isn't it? Yes, the shutter, shutter speed. speed. So by oh. changing it, you just dial this one. Mike, one other important thing uh, is also with these lenses is that, especially if you're shooting, as we said, kind of high focal lengths, yeah. you know, you're zooming in a lot, mm -hmm. is you've got to be very careful about the shutter speed, haven't you? Yeah. What, what's, what's your rule on that generally? So with this, like uh, if you're using a long lens like this one, 55 to 250, Yeah. so normally the rule is you should not go uh, lower than the 250 focal length of the lens so what does that mean so if, you, if you're at sort of so if you're having a 250 uh, focal length yeah. of the lens your speed should be around 250 so that means your actual shutter speed here but then should be around uh, about that yeah yeah that that one but then uh with the speed of 100 yeah that's already uh, that's also tolerable so for you, you to ha to to have a handheld shot because the problem is so at a one hundredth of a second if you have it there you can basically cover all the shots yeah. even up to the maximum because yeah. yeah. the, the problem is obviously if you don't watch it um, on it's a long gonna be, it's going to be blurred isn't yeah, it it's going to be very shaky but in your experience camera. one hundredth of a second you'll get away yeah. with it generally yeah. yeah and if you do use the stabilizer as well probably better yeah, again you can you can lower your speed up to eighty even down to eighty yeah. one eightieth of a second yeah. so your rule is generally when you're shooting you keep it about a hundredth of a second mm -hmm. is it generally yeah okay yeah. well that, that's a very useful tip isn't it yeah. and usually normally when i'm shooting like uh basically over all the uh like on the wedding yeah both my cameras are in a 5.6 opening you generally keep that open yeah yeah, yeah. and why in, is that the, in the whole, so that i can still have uh, the uh, soft uh, effect on the background all right so it gives you yeah. enough yeah. aperture to allow yeah. that soft effect yeah but then if i need to adjust it i can adjust i will adjust from 5.6 up to let's say 8 or 11 depending on the uh, uh, on the uh, amount um, of light light yeah so if there's a lot if there's a lot of light you'll try and yeah reduce the aperture a little bit because if you're doing the uh, flash remote flash yeah. plus the uh, available light yeah sometimes you're you need to adjust if you can go uh, near to your flash right away you can just adjust it on the camera like adjust the uh, opening gotcha. yeah. or the speed but if you can go near to your uh, flash you can adjust the flash we'll uh, have a look at power. that we'll have a look at that in a second all right so that that's a good that's a good tip to know then so for that nice blur effect you try and keep 5.6 5.6 and the shutter sp the shutter speed you don't try and go much slower than a hundredth of a yes. second generally for the lens But with the uh, 1855, you can go as low as 45 or 30. So we'll have a, so on this particular lens here, we'll have a look at this one. On this one here, you can actually, um, as you can see, this is the 1855. This is the other lens you use, Mike. Uh, it is for weddings. You didn't use it for the bikini shoot, but you did use no, it for no. the wedding for lots of different shots. On that, you can go as low as what? The speed can be 45 to 30. 45 to 30. So 40, even 30 to like 40, 40. Yeah, 30 to 40. Yeah. And you'll still be okay. Yeah okay yeah, because this one you can still uh, have control of it because yeah. it's a small lens what about the aperture on this the one aperture usually i still use 5.6 you can still keep that about 5.6 yeah, 5.6 all right okay all right even though i'm on a 1600 or 400 okay because with that that's the time that i will use i will adjust my speed to let's say higher like uh, i can go as far as even 100 to that 100 to the second yeah okay but still 5.6 Okay, one more, one more. Okay, 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 one more. Ok
Um, you've got actually you can only go to a maximum of flash. I think is it 200 or 200? 200, 200, I think it is. So you're stuck. You can't go any faster than that anyway. Mm. So you're restricted to that, aren't you, mm. on the flash? All right. So that's um, that's looking at the settings. Consider the, uh, the reflection. mirror reflection of very the nice. island there. Very nice. And that's again a four second, uh, a four second mm -hmm. uh, shutter release mm -hmm. and a sixteenth, one sixteenth, uh, sixteenth uh, aperture. Uh, sixteen aperture. Perfect. And all throughout, you've used the ISO of two hundred. Is that yes. right? Okay. And again, we've had to use the tripod for this because yes. it's long shutter, uh, yeah. long shutter speed. Okay. Uh, Lovely. We'll try to shoot from the, from here. Okay, Mike. For, for this shot, it's it's pitch it's pitch black now. It's dark mm -hmm. outside, and Mike's we're walking along the beach, and uh, Mike's seen a nice shot there of a restaurant with the lights and a nice mm -hmm. blue sign and stuff. Mike, Mike, just talk me through what settings you use for this shot particularly. Well, uh, for this shot, uh, I use uh, ISO 800. So a really high ISO yes. this time. Not not necessarily. Yeah, yeah, a, a bit high. Yeah. And then uh, we have the uh, aperture to 16. 16. And why why the X16 on that? Uh, if you really recall, with the settings that we did last uh, with the product shots, yes. wherein I uh, created the star effect on the Very those, nice uh, lights. Uh, so with the aperture 16, we can still create that here. So that's a nice effect. Yeah. Yes. Great. And then the speed is uh, 20 of a second. Yes, I and see then, that. And uh, then since there's so many different lights there. Uh, we I've used uh, the uh, auto white balance. So auto white balance because you want all the different colors to show through basically. Yes, it's, yes. it's not possible to set for one, yes. is it? Yeah. Yes. Uh, and also, I use again the self timer. Self timer. That's to keep and, it steady. Uh, tripod. So those are the tripod. requirements really for this type of shot. Yeah. Yes. Another one. Okay, one more. But this time with the same opening, we'll try to. Uh, 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 now that we're using the tripod and shooting in a slow, low, low. Low shutter, yeah. Slow shutter. What you can also do is uh, put your camera into a timer, which yeah. is like uh, if you can adjust it to five, five seconds. Yeah. And then by pressing the the shutter button, just uh, you will be able to uh, avoid any shake from the camera. So yeah, so, so you can you can leave the camera for let's say five or ten seconds and then. Have it shoot. It'll shoot it automatically. Yeah. Oh, that's a very yeah. interesting tip. Yeah. So, because yeah. you don't want any shake at all when yeah. you press the button, yeah. Yeah. so you can just put it on the yeah. self timer yeah. and let it shoot itself. Yeah. Very good. With the uh, mm -hmm. and it's set up almost in front. Mm -hmm. And again, the it's manual setting, and you've got an ISO of I'm guessing again 400. 400. That's yeah. been set the whole time, yeah. and it looks like the speed is going to end up like you said 10 seconds yeah. on that. Okay. And then the white balance is still uh, available. Uh, Auto white balance. It's auto white balance, so it's all nice and easy. You don't need to do the flash auto white balance, uh, white balance setting no, on this no, at all. No. Auto white balance picks no. it up. Yeah, yeah. All right. Because uh, we're dealing with the different uh, light, like those uh, light, we'll, we'll considering that one. They're like, they're, the, yeah, they're the like. The red light and then the flash. So they're all so, different lights anyway, yeah, so you can't yeah, just say flash because yeah, they're different yeah. lights. All right. Okay. So, AW, so that's fine. Thanks very much. Thank you. 
So thank you very much for watching uh, that part of the, uh, the video. We're going to have a look uh, next.